Hello, everyone. My name is Yuki. I'm a technical marketing engineer in topology. And in today's On Top Live, we're going to cover one of the three basic technology pillars, field-driven design. And I'm going to discuss the general concepts of fields and field-driven design, how you can create and use fields in topology. And also, I'm going to show you some examples on how you can use fields to drive design. So fields give you a way to specify spatial variations of design features, and this enables you to control complex geometry in ways that would otherwise be impractical. So I'm going to show you some examples of designs that are easy with fields and extremely difficult without them. And if you can see in these examples, these all involve some sort of spatial variation of feature sizes or shapes. So what is a field? A field is a rule that associates a value to each point of 3D space. You can create a field from a point, a plane, an implicit model, simulation data, pretty much anything in anthropology can be used as a field. And these fields can be used to drive design. So what can fields be used for? Fields are used extensively to control spatial variations of design variables. So in anthropology, whenever you see the scalar field symbol, you can put a scalar field rather than a fixed number. Let me explain it further by taking a look at some examples. I have this rectangular lattice uniform in thickness and it's currently set at 0.25 millimeters. And you'll notice the symbol over here, this is the scalar field symbol that I was talking about earlier. You can input a scalar field rather than a fixed number. So this is where you would most commonly start using this block called the ramp block. The ramp block ramps the values of a field in one range to its relative positions in another range. So in this scalar field input, where you, this is where you normally put your point, plane, maybe even implicit body and some or simulation data. And these ins and the outs, this is where you start giving your conditions. Let me further explain that by showing you one of the examples over here. So I'm gonna try to drive the lattice using a point. So let's take a look at the field of this point as well. Turn our plane and turn on our contour interval. And I wanna be able to also probe my values. So wherever I hover, it'll just give me a distance value. So I said in my RAM at zero millimeters, which is at the point, I want my lattice thickness to be at 0.1 millimeters. And 10 millimeters away from that point, which is around here, I want my lattice thickness to be 0.75. And I can also see that by doing this. So now the field is based off of our lattice thickness. So at that point, I want my lattice thickness to be 0.1. And 10 millimeters away from it, which is roughly around here, it's going to be 0.75 millimeters. And by just giving those conditions, I now have a lattice driven by a point using the field of the point. Now this can also be used across like a plane. If I was to take a look at this rectangular cell map and this plane over here, I said at that plane, I want my lattice to be thin and 15 millimeters away from it, I want my lattice to be thick. And by just simply giving that condition, I'm able to create this new lattice driven from the field of a plane. Now, lastly, we can also use implicits. And take a look at our implicit over here. I have this cube in the center. I said, near the cube, I want my lattice to be thick. And further away, I want my lattice to be thin. Now, lastly, we can also use simulation data. So I said, near those high stress areas, I want my lattices to be thick. So in those green, red areas. And then in the blue, light blue areas, all my lattices is to be thin. So this is what you can use. You can use your fields to drive different design. You can drive thickness, shells, anywhere. Let's take a look at another example. Let's take a more realistic approach on certain applications that you can drive your design using fields. This is a great example of field-driven design. So we have this bike seat over here. This was originally modeled in CAD but it was imported into NTOP and we wanted to lightweight it. So we first ran a static analysis on it. And right now what we're seeing is our displacement result. We created a lattice around that. So in those high dense, high displacement areas, it is a lot denser and those low displacement area, it is less dense. And also we also drove the lattice thickness around that. So in those high displacement areas, since the lattices are dense in those areas, the lattices are thinner. Meanwhile, in those low dense areas, the lattices are thicker. And lastly, we were able to create a final part based off of those simulation results, driving our design using the fields from those simulation results to get our final product. If you wanna learn more about fields on the resources videos, check out the NTOP Live, how to use fields and topology.
We also have a very informative white paper on field-driven design by George Allen, and simply download it by filling out this section to get your hands on the PDF. And lastly, if you want to speak to an NTOP expert, feel free to request a demo by filling out the form and we'll have someone reach out to you.